South Peak Interactive Corporation, doing business as South Peak Games, was an American video game publisher based in Midlothian, Virginia. Founded on March 1, 1996, as a subsidiary of SAS Institute in Cary, North Carolina, it was sold and moved to Midlothian, Virginia in 2000, and became a public company in 2008. Also in 2008, the company acquired and closed Austin, Texas-based publisher Gamecock Media Group, and opened a separate digital distribution subsidiary 760 in Grapevine, Texas in 2011. South Peak Games quietly ceased from the public eye in July 2013. History Topic: Foundation and Sale 1996 to 2005 South Peak Games was founded as South Peak Interactive LLC on March 1, 1996, as a subsidiary of SAS Institute, both headquartered in Cary, North Carolina, with SAS Institute Executive Vice President and Chief Technology Officer Armistead Sapp appointed as the new company's president. In 1997, South Peak Games signed a deal with Red Storm Entertainment that would grant them the exclusive license to distribute all of their upcoming titles, which was, however, terminated by Red Storm Entertainment in April 2000. In March 1999, South Peak Games acquired the license to develop games based on the Wild Wild West film. Starting from September 27, 1999 Raleigh, North Carolina-based creative shop Front Door acquired advertisement production rights for games published by South Peak Games for $8 million. On October 16, 2000, SAS Institute sold South Peak Games to Midlothian, Virginia-based privately held company Terry Phillips Sales, Inc., owned by brothers Terry Marshall Phillips and Gregory Robert Phillips, for $4.5 million, making Terry Phillips the new director of South Peak Games. As a result of the sale, all assets related to South Peak Games were moved the Midlothian location, while all staff at the Cary location were laid off or re-employed directly by SAS Institute. The company in its new location was legally registered as South Peak Interactive, LLC on October 19, 2000. In August 2005, Melanie Moroz was appointed Executive Vice President of South Peak Games. Acquisitions <laughs> 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 On January 16, 2008, South Peak Games acquired public company Global Services Partners Acquisition Corp., GSPAC, a company intentionally created as a blank check to consummate a business combination for $31 million. Through that transaction, South Peak Games performed a reverse merger takeover, and thus merged itself into GSPAC to form a new public entity titled South Peak Interactive Corporation, with Moroz becoming president and chief executive officer, and Phillips becoming chairman. On June 19, 2008, the company announced that they had raised a total of $12.9 million through private investment in public equity, in order to expand its business. On October 14, 2008, the company announced that it had acquired Austin, Texas-based video game publisher Gamecock Media Group, including its upcoming titles, Legendary, Mushroom Men, and Velvet Assassin. Gamecock Media Group was initially made a publishing subsidiary, however, it was closed shortly after. In August 2009, South Peak Games started facing legal issues with work for hire vendors who had worked on games published by Gamecock Media Group, accusing South Peak Games of not paying outstanding royalties. Although South Peak Games had already acknowledged these issues when they acquired Gamecock Media Group, when South Peak Games released their 2009 Q1 quarterly report on November 13, 2009, it was revealed that, after American video game developer and publisher Midway Games filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, in February 2009, South Peak Games had acquired the exclusive rights to publishing video games based on the TNA Impact television program for $100,000. However, they could not agree with total non-stop action wrestling upon any further titles to be developed. 
Topic lawsuits 2009 to 2011 In December 2009, Timegate Studios, the developer of Section 8, which was to be published by Gamecock Media Group before their acquisition, sued South Peak Games over breach of contract, accusing them of withholding 24 outstanding milestone payments with a sum of around $6.2 million, in addition to royalty payments for the development of Section 8. In response, South Peak Games filed a counterclaim against Timegate Studios, stating that they willingly shipped a game of poor quality in order to negatively manipulate the product's sales, seeking $7.3 million in damages. In November 2011, arbitrator Peter Vogel ruled in favor of South Peak Games, ordering Timegate Studios to pay the $7.3 million and hand over the license to the Section 8 intellectual property to South Peak Games, which was, however, overturned by a federal court in March 2012, claiming that the original contract foresaw that Timegate Studios would retain the Section 8 license in the publishing deal. Regardless, in April 2013, the United States Courts of Appeals closed the lawsuit in favor of South Peak Games, forcing Timegate Studios to pay a total of $7.35 million in damages, and again pass the Section 8 license to South Peak Games. In November 2009, South Peak Games lost a legal battle to German distributor CDV Software, which concerned the failure to deliver three out of four unspecified games before Christmas 2008, and was ordered to pay $3.1 million. Additionally, on February 19, 2010, the judge ruled upon CDV Software's other claims, including copyright infringement and breach of contract, ordering South Peak Games to hand in further, undisclosed payments. Mid-issue, on April 8, 2010, Reba McDermott was appointed Chief Financial Officer, replacing Melanie Morose, who previously served that role interimly, but saw her appointment terminated nine months later. As a result of the outstanding bills, on July 20, 2010, British distributor Centersoft put 40,000 units of South Peak Games stock on ice to auction them off, generating GB £50,000 by August 6, 2010. The legal issue was announced to be resolved on October 14, 2010, and CDV Software dropped all charges against South Peak Games on November 10, 2010. However, all payments ordered by the settlement court were not paid by South Peak Games, as a result of which CDV Software filed for preliminary insolvency on April 15, 2010. In June 2010, American publisher Majesco Entertainment announced the upcoming release of My Baby 3 and Friends, the third entry in the My Baby franchise, of which the first two were published by South Peak Games. In response to the announcement, on July 21, 2010, South Peak Games sued Majesco over copyright infringement over the My Baby intellectual property, despite its developer, French studio Nobilis, actually owning it at the time. Five days later, on July 26, 2010, Nobilis responded to the accusation, citing with under South Peak Games' failure to pay royalties as reason to switch to Majesco and cease operations with South Peak Games. Due to damages caused by the legal issue, South Peak Games halted the distribution of all release titles in the My Baby series, namely, My Baby Boy, My Baby Girl, and My Baby First Steps on October 13, 2010. It was reported on January 10, 2011, that South Peak Games had won against Majesco and Nobilis, with the Lyon Commercial Court stating that Nobilis had no legal basis for ceasing operations with South Peak Games, wherefore all rights to their series were returned to South Peak Games. In November 2010, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC issued cease and desist orders against Phillips, Moroz, and South Peak Games for submitting incorrect SEC filings, which South Peak Games later stated to have been an error. After net losses of $2.6 million and $2.1 million in the first and second quarters of the company's fiscal year 2011, respectively, South Peak Games was delisted from the New York Stock Exchange in September 2011. Topic 760 closure 2011 to 2013. On July 12, 2011, South Peak Games opened a new digital distribution subsidiary, 760 LLC, in Grapevine, Texas. Led by Vice President of Publishing Leslie House and Vice President of Interactive Entertainment Jeff Hutchinson, the studio was established in order to expand South Peak Games' business strategies to cover the digital market, with their first title to be Stronghold 3. 
Stronghold 3, released on October 25, 2011, would become the last game published by South Peak Games or 760, and both companies left the public eye in July 2013. <laughs> <laughs> games published <laughs>